Hi, I'm Dan Fallows. Andy Stevenson. Mike Craig. Tom McCullough. Pedro de la Rosa. Professor Lance. Professor Alonso here. And today I'm going to try and teach you about some F1 science. Please, pay attention. So, uh, a question about F1 fuel that people often ask is, is it the same as what we put in our road cars? Um, it's very similar. No, I don't think so. Formula One fuel is quite different to the fuel for the normal road car. Um, it is extra made for delivering more power uh, for the same litre. We remove a lot of the agents that do the cleaning. In a road car, you constantly need to clean it. A road car is going to do many, many thousands of miles, where a Formula One car only has to complete one Grand Prix. It's specially designed to, to have properties for race car engines to make sure that those engines work as efficiently as possible at the very high RPMs or revs per minute um, that they operate at. Formula One fuel is actually a lot closer to regular um, road car fuel than you would think. Um, we're now at 10% ethanol. What are we at 10%? Do you know? You're asking a chassis person about engine questions, I haven't a clue. So if you put Formula One fuel in your road car, um, unfortunately the, the car's brain, the ECU, um, would completely have a meltdown um, and probably stop operating altogether, unfortunately. You would not get Formula One fuel in a petrol station. So if I was to fill my, my road car, let me just do a quick calculation in my head. Um, I would say if I wanted to fill up my road car with Formula One fuel, it'd probably cost me about three and a half thousand euros. Synthetic fuel is being discussed a lot at the moment. With time, um, the Formula One fuel is getting a lot closer to the uh, regular road car fuel uh, with the ethanol content um, and the view to sustainability going forwards. No talking at the back, class. Driving a car with a high fuel versus low fuel, obviously, it's night and day. I mean, you drive a, a, a heavy car, it's predictable, it's understeery. Feels a little bit lazy, feels a little bit slow in, in all the movements. It's boring, actually. And then you have, a, when you drive a low, low fuel car, it's uh, difficult to drive, it's uh, agile, it's nervous. It's very difficult to keep it in the knife edge, but it's a lot more challenging. We are like a four seconds uh, difference between full fuel and, and, and zero fuel. Formula One cars are very sensitive to, uh, to weight. And during the race, we normally drink just water. Um, we have a small bag of like half a liter that we put close to our seat, and we have a tube that goes in, in the mouth and, and we can uh, drink. What's in my drinks bottle? Um, sometimes soda, <laughs> all seriousness, what's in my drinks bottle, uh, just some water, some electrolytes. The problem on a Formula One car is that uh, the temperature inside the cockpit is, is very high, around 50 degrees, so you can imagine that any water that you put on, on the cockpit, it gets really hot uh, after 10 laps or something like that. So, yeah, drinking on a Formula One car is not the most enjoyable uh, situation. I'll be correcting your exams. Well, I hope you learned something today. Thanks so much for listening.